Hi guys, I've got to thank YouTube's notifications system for this little project. Uh, when I say thank them for it, it's because it failed me that I'm actually doing this project today. I was just looking at one of my old videos and noticed that I'd got a comment on there that's five months old from FPV in PA uh, that I hadn't replied to. And I hadn't replied to it because I hadn't seen it. In fact, his comment had got a comment by Daniel Driscoll asking if there had been any update on his request. Well, there hadn't been any update because I hadn't seen it. Anyway, what that video was about was one of these LiPo alarms. Um, I'd bought a bunch of them, I think it was probably a couple of years ago now, the original video, and two out of three of the pack that I'd bought were faulty. So I did take the uh, covering off. Let's just see if I've got one. Oh, yeah, there's one. That's one with the heat shrink covering on it. I'd taken the covering off and I was having a look at it with a microscope to see if there's anything obvious I could spot that had stopped it working. So that's what the original video was about. But FPV in PA, his question was, were the little buzzers any use for repurposing? Now, there is a problem. They're not buzzers. They're speakers. There's a difference. Um, the buzzers have a little circuit in them that actually generate a signal that makes them buzz. A sine wave of some sort or other. So I had a quick look on YouTube and came up with a video by DIY Perks where he repurposes one of these to provide a power off and on switch for when the LiPo goes low voltage. And what he did was he disconnected these two speakers, thrown them away basically, and used the tags underneath to wire to a relay. That's just a side issue, but it was interesting to see somebody using one of these for a different purpose. But that made it clear to me that it's easy enough to desolder these. There's just two tags you melt the solder on and pull them off. And then I could actually try out FPV in PA's question. So there's one of them. He'd actually done some work himself. He'd tried connecting power to one to see if it buzzed, and it doesn't. So say it's a speaker, it's not a true buzzer as such. So if I connect power to it, I'll explain what the rest of this is for in a minute. If I connect power to it and hold it up to the speaker uh, to the microphone, that's what you get. You can just hear it. Same as any speaker. You connect power to it and you can hear the power being connected. But that's it. Once you've connected it, there's no more sound coming out because there is nothing to generate a signal. So I was going to rig up a couple of transistors to make a multi vibrator to generate a sine wave or a wave form anyway to make it buzz. And then I thought, hang on a minute, not so long ago I took apart a, a servo, normal radio control servo, to try out another project for somebody else. And to make it work, I had to put a diode in line to stabilize the um, signal that you get from the circuit board here which is PWM, pulse width modulation. And I thought, well that means we're getting a waveform out of here. It's probably a square wave, but it is a waveform. So rather than feed it through a diode to um, try and get rid of the waveform, why don't I feed that straight into the speaker and see what we get? So, over here we got a radio control car coming out of that 
we've got the battery lead that goes down to the LiPo I've got in there. That's going to go through the ESC. That provides power to the receiver. And then from the receiver, we've got the lead going to the servo. So if I turn the power on, okay, we've got power on. Come to my transmitter, power on, and we got a buzz. And because it's on the rudder, So, a quick, simple demonstration that if you want to get these to buzz, you're going to have to build your own buzz circuit to go with it. It's just not a matter of putting battery and earth on it. You need a waveform. Hope that clarifies it. And if it hadn't been for his comment and looking at his video, I wouldn't even have bothered desoldering that one. But now I know I've got a couple of little, uh, I suppose they're piazzo, is that how you pronounce it? Or pizzo, piazzo, speakers. But if you want them to buzz you'll have to build a little circuit to go with it. A quick Google search brings up plenty of diagrams for making a buzzer circuit. This is one I've put together uh, actually using a 555 timer to do the pulsing for me and the capacitor there and I've got a variable resistor there so that I can actually change the tone I'm using four AA rechargeable batteries there so that's about 4.8 volts uh, this might be a bit loud for you or it might not depends what your ears are like So, there you go, a quick buzzer circuit using the speaker out of the LiPo alarm. There is a bit of a clue actually, it does actually say speaker there, SPK, I don't know if that's going to be in focus or not. That says SPK2 for speaker 2, I expect if I unsoldered that one it would say speaker 1. But somewhere in there there will be the circuitry that's generating the waveform that makes them buzz loudly. Just for comparison, that's the good one. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.